In this short video, we'll show how you can migrate existing and develop new PLSQL applications using DB2 for Linux, Unix, and Windows. PLSQL is now natively supported in DB2, allowing DB2 to process PLSQL quickly without the overhead of emulation or translation. This makes it easy to enable PLSQL applications on DB2. It also allows PLSQL developers to use their existing programming knowledge in a DB2 environment. As part of this video, you will see how to enable DB2 to run PLSQL code. You will also see a variety of database objects supported within DB2's PLSQL, such as packages, procedures, functions, triggers, and anonymous blocks. Finally, you will see SQL language extensions that complement DB2's PLSQL support. This demonstration uses the Technology Explorer for IBM DB2 connected to a live DB2 database. You only need to set one registry variable, DB2 compatibility vector, to run PLSQL statements with DB2. Once compatibility is enabled, your DB2 database will start accepting definitions from the PLSQL procedural language and many SQL language extensions. Now, let's look at the source code of a relatively complex e-commerce PLSQL application that manages products, customers, and orders. This code contains data types such as varchar2, number, and boolean and syntax such as assignments, condition statements, comments, and package definitions. There are implicit and explicit cursors along with cursor attributes like is open, found, not found, and row count. This code also uses DBMS output and UTL file built-in packages. In general, DB2 supports the most popular built-in packages such as DBMS job, UTL SMTP, DBMS SQL, and more. You can also find some SQL elements not typically associated with DB2 such as the dual table, start with connect by recursion syntax, or a row num predicate. These SQL elements are widely used in PLSQL applications and are now supported by DB2. Now let's compile this code. Everything looks good. It compiled without any changes. This screen displays a second example of PLSQL code with more complex structures. It has reference cursors, associative arrays, anchor data types, exception blocks, var arrays, and various loop structures. The code also contains several built-in functions that are popular among PLSQL developers. ToCar, ToDate, ToNumber, NVL decode, and more. All of these capabilities are built directly into the DB2 engine, so they are running at maximum efficiency and are executed and supported with the same speed as other native DB2 functions. Again, we can compile this code without any changes and run it on DB2. This next screen displays a third example that includes the definition of an insert trigger containing PLSQL code. In this case, we have a trigger that calculates the shipping date of the order based on multiple factors and is using PLSQL. Again, this code compiles on DB2 without any modification. Once the PLSQL code is compiled, you can access it in a variety of ways. The code can be executed from a command line using CLP Plus and from a variety of languages including Java, C, C++, .NET, PHP, and more. It can be called within other PLSQL packages, procedures, and functions. In this demonstration, will execute the code from within an anonymous block. Anonymous blocks are PLSQL scripts that compile and run ad hoc. As you can see, we're executing the procedures from the packages created in the previous steps. 
The anonymous block in our example creates orders based on random data and displays order details using the DBMS output package. This video demonstrated the comprehensive support of PLSQL built into DB2. All of these capabilities are supported natively in the DB2 engine without emulation or translation. So you get the highest levels of performance and scalability. You can use the same people who know how to program in PLSQL to enable your existing PLSQL applications for DB2 quickly, efficiently, and at minimal cost.